Ah, he made a video from the garden. Yay. <laughs> Doing okay. Growing and such. If there's some some tomatoes in there, you can little ones you can see growing. And uh, there should be some bigger ones over here. Yeah, there's a good one in there. Growing. Tomatoes. Soon, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, early this year. Got so little last year that really made an effort to not fuck it up this year. Even this potted tomato is doing quite well there. Oh. Yeah. So, it's getting there. Uh, the house and such. Yeah, yeah. Flowers just aren't quite there yet. Trying. Almost. Yeah. Car. Yeah, the cold water here. You know, it's well water. This car black, you know, gets really hot. <laughs> you know, got this lousy crack went right across here. Just there was a little stone hit here. It was just stopped there. The cold water right across. Anyway, yeah, doesn't go anywhere anyway. <laughs> it's just pretending to be a car. Anyway, so I thought I would just talk about. Um, being human. Yeah, those are strange looking, but uh, I think they'll be tomatoey. I think so. Oh, wheel. Yes. Big hole in my inner tube. It's always stuff like this. You gotta, you know. <laughs> you know that's not. A, that's not a good hole. That's a. Yeah. So I don't know. I had a patching kit somewhere. I can't find it. Blah blah blah. Anyway, this really does look quite nice here. I mean, as a idea, this is kind of a, you know, I have to put a chair over here somewhere, I guess. <laughs> Just look at it. Uh, hummingbird comes over here, so. Yeah, he doesn't, uh, hasn't visited my flowers yet. I mean, these are my flowers, but the ones in my yard. So, um, yeah, I'm a little bit uh, slighted, but see, that's part of being human. Um, so anyway, I was just thinking about the whole, you know, you just arrive here on Earth and you're going to be a person based on what you are physically, and then these little adventures you have are going to decide whether you're an asshole you know, or not. Um, and, you know, the definition of asshole clearly hasn't been, um, adequately proven, you know, to establish a proof of what an asshole is, you know. Um, I certainly have my definition. Um, but yeah, that's the whole thing. You're just doing this psychology thing as you're, you're trying to be a person and trying to be, uh, well, I don't know if people are trying to be people. They're just following their, their narrative, their adventure story. And I guess that's, sort of the part that's the tricky part because that's so trivial in a way in the sense that that's you have so little control over those elements of your narrative you know the you know whether you're tall or thin and this or long hair well long hair is controllable um i mean it's by choice but um you know just the little bits and pieces that make you up and that you become that you identify with and then in life, you sort of acquire a, an affinity, uh, an attachment, a connection to these other people, and you become a group of people, you know, like-minded types. And so then you become very defensive of your clan. And these lousy Japanese beetles are doing their best to screw up my beautiful flowerings. Bastards. Anyway. Um, these Mexican sunflowers are really quite beautiful. <laughs> yeah, really beautiful color. Very bright. This one flowered really early, so I believe I will get seeds from it and uh, you know, see if it's a genetic artifacty thingy. Because you know, that's the only one that's flowering. There's like a hundred plants out here, and that's the only one that's got flowers that early. Anyway, 
So, um, I'm really not getting to this the way I wanted to. Ah, I have to take this away from the deers. Oh, so many things to do. <laughs> uh, I don't want to do any of them. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is where the, the plants spend their afternoons. Ooh. And then they go back in the house at night. Uh, but, you know, it's like a lot of... A lot of potential flowers here. They just haven't done anything yet. I, mean, I have a few too many of these magenta ones, which is not a bad color, but it's just not what I'm looking for. I like to have some pretty good, uh, these, some of these zinnias are a good color. That's a nice, uh, I like the orange and red ones. So hopefully um, that'll work out. Uh, these are nice. They kind of stay that way, a little small, star-shaped, just kind of nice. So, and uh, anything else interesting in here? This is, this is a good one here. Another quantum flower. Yeah. Already seen those. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah, let's see some more of these. These are, I do like those. Anyway, um, so, yeah, it's just this, uh, you kind of just fall into the the human that you are. And it is kind of funny, like, uh, I was just thinking, you know, I was thinking about it, just, just, who the fuck am I? You know, every now and then you ask yourself that question. And uh, it's just kind of funny that I've kind of full circled because as a, really young kid I was kind of a well I never felt uh, in control on planet earth it never was a comfortable place but I was always breaking things to find out how they worked I was very curious about the whole physics thing of everything and uh, became mechanically inclined as a result of that curiosity because you know you you break stuff and you got to put it back together or you get into trouble so um, you learn how to do some of that stuff. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of funny that my my life has kind of focused, come back around that circle and I'm back into this physics stuff in kind of a serious way. Um, and not that I was ever disinterested. You know, I was always doing mechanical things, but I wasn't as uh, interested in the whole big picture theoretical physics uh, as I have become and um, but anyways just kind of that you know my my personality just keeps the, the the basic conditioned human that you are just keeps reappearing in a way uh, you know once these start flowering these are very nice these verbenia so yeah uh, <coughs> So what else? Ah, uh, it's nicer in the shade. Ooh. Nice weather, actually. It's warm. All that kind of crap. Uh, so yeah, there's some flowers up there, but nothing terribly interesting. So we'll find a place to sit and finish this, if there's a this to this video. It's not exactly going where intended. Uh, <clears throat> but it's a hard subject to get to, because you're, I'm just trying to get to the you know, it's just everything about us is just such a an undeliberate thing. You know, it's such a pile of <clears throat> it just kind of falls on you in one way or another. You just kind of become, uh, you know, the byproduct of all these little elements that really don't have anything to do with anything you did. Yeah, some water on that chair. Well, it's okay. Ugh, advantage of not having pants on. <laughs> yeah, I can get them wet. Uh, see, this is lovely here. I, just, I mean, it's partly why I made the video. I was sitting out here and I just said, oh, man. It is just perfect. There was no traffic either. I mean, it just was not a, just birds and this. Just really quite exceptionally nice um, well quite nice let's not be too 
let's not overdo it. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Uh, so anyway, so you're just like this byproduct of a bunch of things that you don't have anything to do with, really. Um, you know, how you look anyway, physically, doesn't, you know, certainly didn't have anything to do with that. And you acquire a few principles or ideas, um, being an atheist or being a vegan, and so those sort of become things you identify as. And But, you know, that was all, like in hindsight, you could just say, well, that was inevitable. I mean, how do you avoid doing that and not be an asshole? So, yeah, I was kind of doomed. <laughs> you know, to those fates. Um, uh, you know, you have your, you know, your own little psychological passions and problems. You know, whether you're manic and whether you're, uh, you know, you got some sort of sexual identity crisis thing or you got just some sort of, um, emotional, you're emotionally retarded, <laughs> you know, uh, socially retarded, I could say I was that. Um, and then that becomes your identity, you know, who you are is the, the person you became to get around your weaknesses, you know, because you found a way to sneak around them, you know, you, you find a way to live with your limitations. <clears throat> And, um, you know, it's like being a, I don't know, one, one armed gunfighter in the old west or something. You know, you find some, some gimmick, some thing you do, you know, that gives you an advantage. Um, not that I know what that would be. Not too many, not too many westerns with one armed gunslingers. But, um, there's probably some kind of story like that, you know one-armed Bob or something. He, um, he had some kind of trick that gave him an advantage. Whatever that would be. Uh, you know, winked at people. Um, uh, something. Uh, and these, the beets are kind of a weird plant, actually. Once they get going, they're good. I really hate being transplanted, and uh, so you have to fiddle with them to get, get them going. <sighs> yeah, um, I really like them for the greens. These leaves are really quite nice. You, know, you cut them and it's like spinach. It's a better, much better actually. I think spinach is quite hard by comparison. Um, I should save that one for later. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> there's got to be something else to something else. Um, oh yeah, back to the chair. That'll help. All right, so <clears throat> uh, what was I? I was sort of at the, the important bit. Yeah, so you're just a bunch of causes or or things, um, neuroses. And you're a collection of those things wrapped in some sort of game you've played to somehow make all that make sense. And then you're sitting here in the world saying, what do I do with that? And it's just kind of funny what people choose to do with that. I mean, th this thought was provoked just because, you know, you, you just think about, I was thinking about all the, the people with their wacky truther theories, you know, some guy was actually seriously last night arguing in defense of the inverted earth theory. Um, you know, like the flat earth isn't bad enough. Uh, and you're just saying, how do people get there? I mean, how do they get to a place where they're willing to fall for that? I mean, how do you get that? Um, uh, I mean, you really have to have some sort of wacky conspiracy theories and some kind of notion that they're all out to get you or something or it's all impossible to have you know, almost like the, hum, the rest of the humans are reptilian or something to be able to resort to something just so desperately um, unacceptable and that's how that's what makes it acceptable it's the fact that it's unacceptably stupid <laughs>
See, this pole's awful crooked. I knew I straightened that early in the year, so probably the cat did it. Sorry for the noise. Um, you know, all this stuff in here failed colossally. Disappointing. Um, yeah, a lot of failures this year. It's not, you know, things have gone okay, but yeah, all these were failures. I stuck all these in the ground last winter, figuring they would do okay. They're hibiscus trees, the tree type. And they really should have grown, but they didn't. Stupid bastards. So, I um, have to do it the old-fashioned way. Root them first. Anyway, I, I, I'm sorry about this video. It's not quite as coherent as I'd like it to be. So, yeah, so we're just this collection of this, you know, as I feel my life or as I sense it. I've got this part of you is this, this, this emotional animal. And, um, you know, it... It's just migrating through life, and it's like the, you know, when it's a kid, it's entertained by cartoons, and then when it gets a little older, it's, you know, chicky poos, and then, uh, you know, it's still chicky poos, but he wants a little bit more of a story, uh, you know, a little older, and it just you're just migrating through these, you know, this, this subtle re-identification of what's going to make you happy. And clearly people do that, you know, they seem to manage it somehow. It's a kind of an incredible transition, you know, from like whatever, a healthy 13-year-old to the 83-year-old or something. Um, because you really don't, you know, the, the, the person inside doesn't change much. It's just this subtle changes that he has to adapt to this new world um, and a new kind of um, new habits, but maybe it's not much different than just changing what you eat, and, uh, you know, so you just adapt to the new world where you have to have, you have to want something different, because, uh, the same wants won't work in the new body package, uh, something like that anyway, but even all that is just, you know, again, all of it's decided kind of by the force of your fortune or misfortune, you know, what kind of good or bad luck you have is going to decide where you're going to be sitting, you know, 20 years from now. And uh, personally, I don't find that at all acceptable. I mean, there's a lot of things I don't find about life acceptable, but I mean, this whole idea of just being stuck to the, you know, glued to the vagaries of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Uh, you know, that's, that's just, uh, you know, I want a road map. I want to know where the wrong place is and I want to know when the wrong time is. And uh, I just don't see any point in doing this otherwise. Yeah, there's two little birds fucking on my roof. See, they have their own little story. And, you know, they're just, you know, they're right over there somewhere. Um, but anyway. That is a favorite location for birds to do the wild thing. Anyway, um, yeah. So, so anyway, this sort of was going to relate to the big question. You know, the big. You know, this is like kind of amazing that there is a universe and that there it is doing all of this nonsense. You know, it's wasting its <laughs> it's wasting its time clumping into clumps and then the clumps get an identity and then clumps get neurons and they think they're somebody and they think they're doing something they think they're important and you know they're clumping around um you know but there's no you know we're never going to get a satisfactory answer to that question you know the something why is there something and not nothing and so you're just kind of sitting here you know but we know we know enough of the answer. We know the answer isn't because it was somebody else's brilliant idea. I mean, I wish that answer is just so stupid. You know, the something that wakes forever thought it up. I mean, that's just really dumb. <laughs> so it's just a, it's just slop you know, on, the, on the universe's floor. <laughs> and, 
you know, you were stuck living it. Um, and, you know, the smarter you get, the more you pick at it, you know, the more you see what it is made out of and how superficial it is, how here we are fighting with all this energy to, to, to defend our assholery. You know, I'm a better asshole than you, or I'm the best asshole, or whatever we're doing. All this competition, like we're, you know, even people who aren't breeding, you know, they're still playing the game like they are breeders or something. They need to win. And, um, you know, all this competition to say I'm somebody or I'm better and all this crap and it's just, you know, it's all because of a DNA molecule and, a, you know, a stupid process of evolution that just ground shit up for billions of years. Um, it's just all quite um, unsatisfactory. And, you know, I'm just sitting here, you know, saying, okay, yes, it, my, uh, my narrative, you know, my life experience says this little crap here means something. You know, some guy in the hood, he's like, man, fuck this shit, man. Where, you know, you know where's the cocaine and, and, and uh, you know, the whores and uh, the loud music or whatever. Um, you know, can't relate at all. Uh, because his life experience has created a different kind of monster. Um, yeah, woodpeckers taking an awful lot of wood off of these houses. Anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, carpenter bees. Yeah, the whole cycle is just so stupid. Bees make babies to feed woodpeckers. Yeah. Stupid. Uh, yeah, so I really didn't uh, do this as well as I had hoped. Um, but, you know, I'll have to do and such. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I can fix it now. <laughs> yeah, how do I fix it here at the end? Pow! Wow! Bang, 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 pow! I don't know if that helped. Um, <laughs> okay. So, I'll surrender. Um, just was too nice a day to not take advantage and make a video. Lovely, 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 and all that. So, yeah, that's really my excuse. It's just too nice out here not to say, look at the niceness. Yeah, so I had to do that. I didn't have to, but I didn't feel like it. So these forget-me-nots are kind of interesting. They, they really grow. I have two varieties, the nice little ones that behave themselves and then these sprawly monsters. But they are kind of a nice color. Some roses. <sighs> yeah, all my good roses got eaten by the deer, so... <sighs> you know, it's been rough here. <laughs> Some bug has taken its toll on that one over there. Yeah. Jeez, the bush barely has any leaves on it. It's got some buds though. But that doesn't look good. Lots of buds, but no leaves. Not a good plan for the future. Oh, this is a nice view here. Yeah, that's a very nice. Yeah, nice little breeze, blah, 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 blah. So, alrighty then. Uh, until the next time, and such, so forth and whatnot. I don't know if there's anything in the lion fountain. I pointed them out before, but. <laughs> doesn't count. Um, anyway, so, until the next time.